Good morning, PHS. Welcome to PTB News for October 27th. I'm Matt Reisner. And I'm Devin Green. Stay tuned for the latest and greatest in PTB News. SRT meetings and after school activities. Today's SRT meetings are Spanish Club in the cafeteria, seat in room 218, BPA in room 108, and after school there's a robotics meeting in room 141 from 3.30 to 5.50. The marching band is practicing from 6 to 9, and theater is practicing from 6 to 8 in the auditorium in the studio theater. Man, I sure am hungry! Well, Devin, today for lunch we'll be having chicken alfredo, broccoli, fruit and vegetable bar, and the always amazing salad bar. It's that time of year again, LGH is playing the second annual Fall Festival, which is a huge fundraiser for the junior high. Instead of selling items for the fundraiser, they are putting on a haunted school and they're hosting a huge trick-or-treat event. It will take place this Friday and Saturday. On Friday, from 5.30 to 6.30 is the family-friendly part, and then for two hours starting at 7 p.m., they're going to up the scariness. Then on Saturday, from 5 to 6 p.m., will be the family-friendly part that will take place, and the scary will roll in for two hours starting at 6.30. The cost is $5 for trick-or-treating and 10 for the haunted school. If you'd like to donate a bag of Halloween candy, stop by the office anytime between now and the festival. On November 2nd, the sophomores and juniors will be taking the PSAT. This day, seniors are encouraged to take a college visit. The pre-range absence forms were due Monday, but if you are still interested, you might be able to go. Stop by the front office to make sure. For those that decide not to take the opportunity, you'll have a chance to learn some personal financial responsibility information. And for the freshmen, we'll be holding a college and career day. That day, 45 members of our community will be coming in to discuss various careers and pathways. Sweethearts just around the corner. The theme this year is Arabian Nights. It will be held on Saturday, November 12th in the Multipurpose Room. Sunshine Society has booked an amazing DJ in the highly anticipated photo booth that will be back. Tickets will go on sale at lunch from November 1st through the 11th. Students, if anyone is bringing a date from another school, must fill out a request form by November 7th. Come one, come all, come follow us down the yellow brick road to see the Blizzard of Oz, starring our very own PHS Advanced Acting, Theater Art 1 and 2 students. The prize for tickets are $7, and the show dates are as followed. Next Friday, November 4th at 6.30, then Saturday, November 5th at 2, and at 6.30 p.m. Sunday, November 6th at 2 p.m. Do you know where you want to go to college, what you want to study or do in life? Those are huge questions, but getting prepared is real. PHS is hosting a career readiness fair this Friday during SRT and during fifth hour to help you begin the process of thinking about your future. This seems a bit too much for you, no worries. At least you can get an idea about what classes you might want to explore next semester or next year if you are an underclassman. Plus, our PTV crew will be on hand to tell you about cool opportunities to get you involved in front of the camera or behind the scenes in our program. Make sure to stop by our booth and learn about the great opportunity. We don't have any sports events for today, but this Saturday is a huge day for one of our athletes. Out of nine kids from each corner of the state that are chosen by coaches to participate, our very own John Gerard will be taking on the single senior all-star tennis event at DuPois University in Greencastle. By the way, we'd like to congratulate both our cross-country and volleyball teams for making it as far as they did in this season. Two weeks ago, the Rockies played their homecoming game against the Northwood Panthers. <laughs> Then last week's sessional action, the Plymouth Rockies took their show onto the road to Angola Friday night. The Rockies started off quick in their first sectional game. Tristan McMillan ran 72 yards to the touchdown, and Benji Nixon ran for the two-point conversion and converted it, putting the score at 8-3. The Rockies won the game in a tight one with Angola with a score of 26-23. This Friday, the Rockies hope to keep their sectional dreams alive against East Noble. This game is a winner go home, so the Rockies have a lot banking on it. If you can, make sure to come out and support the Rockies. Kick off is slated at the Rock Pile at 7 p.m. Tickets are $6, and you can buy them ahead in the athletic office right now or at the gate. Last week's PTV trivia question 
before break was what did Indiana produce more per capita than any other state? The classroom that answered okay, the correct answer first was Mrs. Donut Condon's room. Photojournalist Juan Garcia and our PTV crew delivered their winning prize, a couple bags of donuts. Congratulations to Mrs. Condon and her winning Thank class you. of the PTV question. And by the way, if you were wondering what the answer was, it was corn. All right, PHS, we have the part of the show that you've been waiting two weeks for, trivia time. This week our question is, what modern-day country is the ancient city of Troy located in? Call extension 1241 now if you haven't won already this calendar month. Also, to recap our trivia rules, make sure it's student calls, no teachers, please. Again, the question is, what modern-day country is the ancient city of Troy located in? Call extension 1241 to try your luck at winning our delicious signature prize. By the way, a few members of our PTV crew are going to start a podcast discussing movies, TV shows, and music. Make sure you keep a lookout for it on our PTV YouTube channel. Before we left for fall break, we had our annual Super Fantastic Fall Pep Rally. PTV's Juan Garcia captured the sights and sounds, and he put together a special recap. Let's take a look. for you guys today. Make sure you keep an eye out every Thursday during SRT for our show. I'm Devin Gritton. And I'm Matt Reisner. Have a great day, PHS.